Hello everyone, my name is Garvin and I read things and talk about them on the internet for your entertainment. This is the hundredth video I've posted on the channel that you're watching today. So, I thought I'd take a moment, cover some background, like some channel lore, and talk about what am I even doing here, right? Uh, I, I thought this was a good time for that. Before I get into that, I also want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone. Uh, to my patrons, of course, who have been supporting me and guiding me with their votes. They actually voted for a hundredth video, so blame them if you don't like this video, I guess. Uh, if you want to stop videos like this, sign up at the link below. You pay in a dollar a month, you get a vote. Um, I also want to thank my subscribers. The subscription count is at 421 as of this recording. Thank you to each and every one of you. I really appreciate it. I also want to thank my friends and family who were and are very supportive of me doing this. And I, of course, want to thank everyone who's watched the video, who's commented, left a like. I have some regular commenters, uh, David, Ryan, thank you very much guys, I really do appreciate it. And I want to say thank you to everyone watching this video for joining me in this battle against the Dread Lord Algorithm, terror beyond his name. Let me start with how I got here. I actually started out doing book reviews in text format on a blog in 2014 and that was the suggestion of a family member who told me since I was reading so much and I had so many thoughts and opinions about what I was reading I should write this down and maybe post it up for other people to look at so maybe they could avoid the books I didn't like or I could find other people who wanted to talk about them with me and I did. I started the Patreon um, sometime after that because everyone and their great uncle were throwing suggestions and requests of books for me to review. And I found myself with this huge list and I needed a way to sort out what people were actually interested in after I removed the stuff I wasn't interested in because I just have no interest in a subject, I'm not going to cover it, sorry. So I figured having people paying at least a dollar a month to get a vote would get them invested and it's worked out pretty well up until this point. Uh, at the time, most of that money went to paying a friend to help edit the reviews. So if you go back to look at those reviews, there'll be a link to the blog in the description below. Uh, if you see comments in colored text, that's not me, that's the editor, so I'm not talking to myself in these. I didn't do any videos until post-COVID. Unlike a lot of people, I was working. They basically had me work from home, but I wasn't doing a lot at work, because a lot of my work was customer-facing, so... I would kind of just sit there twiddling my thumbs until the end of my shift. And me and my friends were doing a lot of virtual hangouts and D&D games, but I ended up feeling a bit bottled up. To be fair, I don't think anyone was doing great during that time, and my only outlet was the book reviews. If you go back to 2020 and read the book reviews, you kind of see some weird stuff. I'm not going to apologize for that, though. Uh, my favorite is the three-part review of the Fall of Gondolin book by Professor Tolkien, for example. Nobody asked for that. I was just bored. And that was in April of 2020, so the quarantine wasn't even that old when I started uh, going off the rails a little bit. All that said, like everyone listening to this, I got through 2020. And when I reached 2021, all that time at home had given me a lot of extra thoughts, let's call them. And 
I started experimenting with the idea of doing like companion videos for book reviews. Plus, I was reviewing non-book stuff at this point, like movies, uh, television shows, uh, the the Winter Soldier series on Disney Plus was one of those, um, and I wanted to kind of just ramble and natter about this stuff. So, in 2021, that's where I put out the first video that I actually completed. It was a it was a movie review. You can still see it. It's the very bottom video. It was an experiment, not a grand one, not a particularly successful one, but I learned a lot, which makes it a good experiment. And I didn't really start making videos until 2022 when I had a lot of mythology stuff I was learning about and I wanted to talk about it. And then after talking to some of the patrons, I thought it'd be fun to do a sort of limited series on Atlantis. Like a lot of stuff Atlantis got away with from me. Um, it's a 17 video long series. Uh, not what I had originally planned, but there is a lot of Atlantis fiction and stuff that wasn't written as fiction and a lot of it was fun to read although i'm gonna note here for history's sake the doing the research for jack boots of atlantis the, that's the title of the video that one drove me to drink so if you want to know what it takes to make me hit the sauce go watch that video right uh just be aware there's some heavy stuff in there now of course, one of my patrons asked me, you know, we've been talking about Atlantis, you know, for a better part of a year, why are there no mermaid stories? And I realized that there's no connection between merfolk lore and Atlantis, and that just seemed weird. And this led to patrons asking me to look into merfolk, and here we are with 19 videos in that playlist. Uh, Adding in videos that came from that material, um, over a third of my content is from me going, Hey, what if I looked at some Atlantis stuff? Wouldn't that be fun? So, be careful what you decide to tackle, I guess. Having sat through all of this, some of you may now be asking, So wait. Garvin, what is this YouTube channel even about? And it's about stories. I really like stories, both the stories that actually happen, the, the ones we find in history and archaeology, and the stories that come from our collective imagination, uh, whether that's from mythology or fantasy and science fiction or even comic books or other sources. I enjoy them. I like learning about them. I like talking about them. I really like finding the obscure bits hidden in the corners behind more popular stories. Even really odd stories like non-canon history of aliens from science fiction shows is something I enjoy. So what I'm doing is delving into these stories made by humanity or about humanity most of the time both and seeing what I can find to share with all of you and hopefully hopefully I bring you stuff you've never heard of before and you enjoy hearing about so expect me to go hunting for strange creatures and lost lands and obscure science fiction and fantasy stuff and share what I find with you, and I hope you honestly really enjoy it. Because I am. Of course, to do this, I have to engage in battle with our Dreadlord, my greatest obstacle, and sometimes my greatest ally, the Algorithm. You can help me in this, of course, by doing what you're doing right now, just watching the video, leaving a like, commenting and I really do hope you'll aid me in this eternal bottle as I try to inform and entertain you with 
the various stories and interesting tidbits I find. Uh, to that end, if one of the videos I've done in the past or one of the videos I do in the future is something you enjoy, please don't hesitate to share it with others and feel free to leave suggestions for future videos in the comments. What happens is I do pay attention to those. I put those on the, the master list and I will post those when I finish one thing and the patrons vote on what subjects or topics they want to see me tackle next. So everything goes on the list, but in the end, the patrons votes is the final determining factor. So just kind of be aware of the process there, I guess. I'm going to end it here this week. This is a short video, maybe not the grand spectacle a hundredth video deserves, but maybe we'll do something bigger and grander for the 200th video when we get there. I'm going to say when, because I believe we can hit 200 videos. I'm going to wrap this up by saying once again, I appreciate all of you who listened. I hoped it was somewhat informative or at the very least entertaining. And if you were entertained or informed, please leave a like, a comment, or even consider subscribing. I'd like to give a special thanks to Big Steve, my biggest supporter. We could not have gotten this far without your support, man. And I also would like to thank everyone who's appeared in a video, who helped me make one, and every, once again, everyone who just even watched a video, thank you for that. I do appreciate that. Next week, I'm going back on the grind. We're going to look at the Fathom comic. And after that, we are going to hit some merfolk movies to wrap up our look at uh, merfolk mythology and stories. I hope you'll join me, but until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and of course, keep reading.